In this video, we're going to learn about how to multiply polynomials. So we already know how to multiply something like this. All we need to do here is distribute the multiplication of 2x onto both terms inside the brackets. So what we get is 8x squared plus 12x. Now, if you don't know how we achieved this result here, then we encourage you to watch the distributive property video before you continue on with this one. Now the question is this, how would we multiply two binomials then? For example, how do we multiply this? Well, one method that you can follow is the FOIL method. FOIL is an acronym which stands for the following. F stands for first. O stands for outside. I stands for inside. And L stands for last. So FOIL is just a general guide to what order you should multiply the binomials in. So let's multiply the first terms of each binomial here. What we get is x squared. And for O, we multiply the terms on the outside. So we'd get minus 2x. Now we move on to multiplying the inside terms, which gives us plus 4x. And lastly, for L, we multiply the last terms of each binomial, which gives us minus 8. So if we simplify this, what we end up with is x squared plus 2x minus 8. Now the FOIL method is easiest to use when multiplying two binomials together. But perhaps a more comprehensive way to look at it is this. Notice how every single term within the first polynomial is being multiplied with every single term within the next polynomial. The good thing about thinking this way, although it does yield the same result that the FOIL method would have yielded, is that this method allows for us to easily multiply binomials and trinomials together. So, Let's try an example where we have something like this. Now, you will notice that the FOIL method doesn't help you very much here since there's an added term right here. But if you decided to take each term in your first polynomial and then multiply it with every other term in the next polynomial, then we would be able to get the answer. So first, we can take the 4 and multiply it to each term in this polynomial. We get 12x squared plus 4x minus 20. Then we get the 2x and multiply it to all of this as well. What we get is 6x cubed plus 2x squared minus 10x. So if we add all of this together, we get 6x cubed plus 14x squared minus 6x minus 20. Great! So if we go back to the first example that we did using the FOIL method, you'll notice that we didn't need to necessarily multiply the first terms, outside terms, inside terms, and then the last terms, which was the order that the FOIL method suggested. We could have used the same method that we just learned with our binomial and trinomial example. Let's try it out. So we had x plus 4 multiplied by x minus 2. And instead of using the FOIL method, we're just going to take each of the terms from the first polynomial and then multiply them to every term in the next polynomial. So this x multiplies with each term to give us x squared minus 2x. Similarly, we take the 4 and multiply it to each term here, and we get plus 4x minus 8. So we end up with x squared plus 2x minus 8, which is the same as what we got when we used the FOIL method. Awesome! So all you need to remember when multiplying polynomials is that whether you use the FOIL method or not, 
as long as every term in each polynomial is being multiplied with each other, you should end up with the correct answer. Well, that's it for this video, and we will see you guys in the next one.